Hello students how are you Today I am going to start the lyrical poetry in the 16th century for UG semester 2 Now let's start Next to drama lyrical poetry was the most popular and significant literary form of the Elizabethan age In the 16th century there was an outburst of lyrical expression the whole year of england was filled with the melody of songs and lyrics in the words of lewis england was a nest of singing birds the reason the reason was that england moved away from the religious middle ages into an atmosphere of fashion and freedom the elizabethan felt themselves to be free and the writings of songs and lyrics did not require much discipline the elizabethans thought and felt intensely this intensity led them to write songs and lyrics lewis says what he says he says and the songs was everywhere sung in halls and parlors in towns and in the country the songs and lyrics of the elizabethans are written in different forms some of these have the forms of the pastoral lyric some have the form of sonnet or ode or elegy etc Elizabethan lyrics have not only the variety of forms but also themes the songs and lyrics of Robert Southwell are saturated with deep religious sentiments but also of others are sensuous and erotic the writers of lyrics deals with such themes as love war patriotism but mostly love the elizabethan songs have lightness of touch freshness for charming simplicity they are never burdened with complex and philosophical meaning they have naturalness rather artificiality and ornament now look at in the 16th century there was a fashion for or the collection of lyrics and songs such collections were called song books a large number of such collections were published many of these had poetic titles the title is the phoenix nest the passionate pilgrim etc one the merit of such collections is that here are the poems of good poets as well as of bad poets spencer inserted some lovely songs in his shepherd's calendar his songs are sophisticated and elaborate sidney's songs are light and airy his lyrics have the intensity of his personal feelings marlow sang the shepherd's call to the shepherdess come live with me and be my love all these songs and lyrics are full of harmony they have the capability of being set to music some of the lyrics writers were also good musicians the prominent were thomas campion campion was a doctor by profession but he was much better as a poet he sought entertainment in music his lyrics are very airy and fresh now look another best elizabethan songs Some of the best Elizabethan songs and lyrics are to be found in the drama of the age. It was a practice with the playwright 
to insert songs and lyrics in their drama though this song has more significance and meaning in the context but they can be enjoyed and appreciated outside the context too the dramatists like lily george pili green and lodge have songs in their plays we find songs or lyrics in the plays of shakespeare also shakespeare's lyrics are exquisitely fresh most of them fit in the context for example the ironical lines of the fool in king lear uh, king lear the songs of the witches in macbeth the songs of igo in othello etc the songs of shakespeare's contemporaries have not the same skill and imagination which shakespeare's songs have the sonnet is a very disciplined form of lyrics it has 14 lines the sonnet has 14 lines petrarch and what divided the sonnets in two parts what are the two parts the two parts are octave and sestet octave was of eight lines and sestet had six lines but shakespeare's sonnets have 12 lines plus two lines the last two lines are called couplets sydney spencer and shakespeare are the most prominent among elizabethan sonneteers now this was about the elizabethan elizabethan lyrics now look about the cavalier poets students in the caroline period the age of charles 1 there were cavalier poets all lyricists important cavalier poets are herrick carew suckling and loveless all of them have individuality but they have some common features they all write very short poems though they are urban and urbane they show intense love of natural objects as trees plants birds and village scenes in general they admire simplicity rather than sophistication they are influenced by john donne and ben jonson let us consider in brief the work of the four cavalier poets number 1 is robert herrick 1591 to 1674 herrick was the only cavalier poet who was not a courtier he is a poet of moods and moments he is often elegant and sophisticated as a poet he is charming fanciful but of simple sensibility the metaphysical manner is beyond his capacity he sings mostly of women love wine and song now second one is thomas carew 1598 to 1639 carew combines in his poetry the metaphysical manner of dun and the classical spirit of ben jonson from dun he learns to have much feelings and fancy and from ben jonson he gains the lesson of restraint and discipline the third one is sir john suckling 1609 to 1642 suckling also has in his poetry the twin influence of ben jonson and dun his his cynical observations of female capriciousness and inconsistent inconsistency and his hard realism remind us of dun now fourth one is robert loveless 1618 to 1658 though the poems of loveless are full of freshness and exuberance he lacks the fancy of herrick the force of suckling and the polish of carew now this was about the cavalier poets students now till then i shall see you in the next video 
विथ नेक्स्ट चैप्टर थैंक यू ओके बाय